Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Art of Awesomeness podcast. It is episode 16. 16, dude. We are we are making strides. <sighs> we just hopped right into this. We did. I just yeah. acknowledge that we're getting into our flow state. Um, the flow state? The flow state. Episode 16, and we are playing with the new... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, <laughs> we're I playing kinda... with the new setup. Right, we right, got right. the flag going, kind of situated it a little bit better. Yeah, we, we know it was a little bit off last time, so trying, so we're we're trying, trying to, to it, we're know? trying to shake things up a little bit. Yeah, we have a very should I tell them the topic after or before the other announcement? Let's get the first order of business. First out First order of business. I want some tang. Happy, Happy national. national. Oh, oh. Com- you go first. All right, I'm sorry. No. Happy National Compliment Day, uh, Christian. I like your hat. Actually, hey, it's my dude. hat, but you know, I like the hey, hat. Adrian, I, I like, like that you like that I'm wearing your hat. I mean, yeah, thank sure. you so much. I like that you like that. I know I like your um, the way you think you got going on right here. It's like a semi widow's peak, but it's like a messy peak. widow's peak. It's like you're not afraid to get down. I have no idea what that means, but you know, what? thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. That. Yeah, that's a compliment. And you know what? You, you look great nice today. Face. You do look great today. You that's, that's watching this video. Like the per, or if if you're listening to this video, you you, you sound, sound great. great. Yeah. Your oh. ears are awesome. We are in your <laughs> ears right now. We are happy to be there. And it's nice and comfortable. I think we should stop while we're thank ahead. You. That was like Wait, let's compliment our moms. Hi mom. Hi Miss Look Smiley. great. You're awesome. Thank you for um, offering us. What is she making today? Cookie bars. Cookie bars. I've never had one of those. Thank you for offering those when you did a few days ago. By the time you're watching this, you're awesome. To, and hi, my yeah. mom. Love you. And thank you for um, making me conscious. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> today we have a very interesting whoa, 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 topic. Whoa, 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 whoa. You forgot National Peanut Butter Day. I thought we talked about that. No. Oh, yeah. It's Peanut Butter Day. Yeah. Oh, that's why we had that sandwich. Yeah, we had the peanut butter jelly sandwich. We had a sandwich. Gosh dang it. Anyways. Yeah, we had a peanut butter and strawberry jam uh, jam jelly sandwich. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, whoa. Oh. I'm sorry. S is sound was... really loud. I'm just going to jump right into it. It's a waste of time. Ooh. The art of letting go. An alternate title is Worry. Let It Go. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, don't sing that. I forgot you are going to do that. Do it again. Oh, I wasn't going to sing it. I just want... If you've ever seen Frozen... Ready? Beep, beep. Go. I don't sing. sing. What the Let heck? This is this isn't sing a soap opera. This is a podcast. The art but yeah, of letting, letting go. go. And these things we have it on here so it's saying worries. Yeah, and we got such. we got we got our little, got our little, little yeah, our new setup right here. Know, Chromebook thing. So and we don't have to be looking this yeah, way all I the time. I like this. I like how we're messing with yeah. we mess. We're always trying to make these things trying better these things for you guys. Trying to so. add here. Yeah. The logo. Uh, art of letting go. This one's something that I think we had on our um on our outline document for a while or yeah. something like that but we never got around yeah until... we have we have like a list of different like podcast topics mm-hmm. and and i think i don't know if it was worded like this exactly but just mm-hmm. being able to sort of mm-hmm. move on from from things and and so forth so yeah just letting go yeah uh, but someone actually recommended this to christian so thank you for that recommendation thank you for it's a someone that very uh watches our show listens i think i think at least on youtube and not only them, but everyone else so far, like Tucker and Sophie, and all, everybody else that watches that. Tucker's a legend, to dude. Us. Shout out to Tucker, Tucker awesome. man. Thank you guys all for your suggestions and watching our show. And we're hoping that our show so far and today's episode can help you out. As we know that this is something that a lot of people, especially overthinkers like me, like and myself, me. yeah, yeah, you know, even if you're not an overthinker, this is something that a lot of people struggle with and it's you know it's not an easy thing to do i mean it's easier said than done yeah definitely but i mean we have it kind of typed out right here the art of letting go and in parentheses it's like worries and and anxieties and things like that so there's a plethora of things that you could let go in this specific podcast episode we're going to be talking about specifically letting go of your worries or your anxieties pretty much like that that's going to be the main focus So, so yeah we have I kind of have it written out right here. This this have. is like um. The, the, this first point can kind of be broken up into two halves. I'm going to break it up that way. The first really main point that I want to, you know, kind of drive in, is that y- you can. Life has sort of two dualities to it, right? So if you're worrying about things that y- you can worry about two things: things that you have control over, or things that you don't have control over. 
those are two hugely different arenas, but we often just sort of mesh them into one. And I think that can be problematic when you're not looking at them separately because they are separate things and they're going to have different effects on how you look at stress or how you look at worry and how you look at anxiety. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the the first thing I want to really point out is that you need to let go of things that are out of your control. Like cut your excess stress. Cut the excess. You just want to cut it off. Oh, wow. Yeah. So pretty much, so I'm going to give some examples, right? So cope, I don't know. COVID. Can you say that on YouTube now still? Because I remember when you did a few videos, yeah. What? COVID? You did like a video on COVID and you said that like YouTube kind of put some stuff on your video. Is that still like going on? Oh, no, because I used hashtags in that video because oh, okay, I wanted okay. them to... I just want to make sure... Like... Yeah, no, yeah, I can say it. COVID, 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 coronavirus. Oh. <laughs> Watch, you're just going to bunch of Yeah, it's just going to happen. Yeah, COVID-19. But yeah, pretty much COVID-19 is something that none of us had any control over, right? But we just have to deal with it. So worrying... About, like, I don't worry about COVID-19 really at all. I just live with it, right? Mm-hmm. I, I've adapted my life accordingly to the virus, and then I just move on from it, right? Because there really is so much you can do. Um, when I go out in public... The best I got is a mask. So yeah, I'll wear that, you know, why not? And I kind of just forget about it from that point. You know, th- there are certain things that you can do to prevent COVID, but at the end of the day, it exists, it's here. And that's just sort of one of those uh, things that you can't really just kind of move out of the way, right? You just mm-hmm. have to make peace with the fact that it exists, that it's there, and you, you adapt your life accordingly, you move on. If you're constantly stressed about something like COVID, it's kind of a, a stress that's in vain because, you know, the, the hope is that when you're stressing about something that the stress will just go away, right? Mm-hmm. You can get rid of it. You can't get rid of COVID, really. Yeah, they can come up with like a vaccine or something like that, but it's, it's just a new disease now. It just exists and it's probably going to exist in some form or fashion, you know, yeah. onwards. So like worrying about that sort of thing, just from a logical perspective, I know that it can kind of be hard emotionally, but if you just look at it from a logical perspective, it's, you know, there really is no point, Mm -hmm. you know? And so when you, when you can look at something objectively and say, there is no point to worry about this, there's no point in having this hold sort of an, uh, an anxious grasp on me, then you just let it go, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's easy to let go when you see it in that light. Cause some people have trouble work, like letting go of worries because they think their worries are valid, right? Well, I need to worry about this because it's important. And mm-hmm. yeah, COVID's a thing. You should probably acknowledge it, but stressing about it, worrying about it, it's not going to do you any good. It's like worrying about it will change the outcome. In yeah. A sense. That's like a branch off kind of maybe what you're saying. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Is that, for sure. Yeah. Like, like somehow your, your worrying is going to affect this situation, which it's mm-hmm. not. You it's know. like putting yourself, you know, there's this quote yeah. that I heard words. Um, I think I know this one. It's, uh, I think I told you this. It's like when you stress or worry about things, or in this sense, like holding on to things, you're yeah. basically putting yourself through that twice, for no reason. Yeah, you know. I so mean, I don't. I think that applies to this situation. I mean, maybe that's something else. Either way, I mean, it's good advice. But I mean, an- another thing I know that this video is coming out. I mean, Joe Biden just got inaugurated recently. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I know that the, in the news and stuff like that, um, going around with politics and elections and stuff like that, everyone was worried who the president is going to be. I have really no control over who the president (laughs) is because I didn't vote this uh, or last year, should I say, because Mm -hmm. I was 17 when uh, when the elections happened. Can you believe that? Yeah, I was still too young to vote. But, I mean, either way, there was nothing I could do about the president, so why would I worry? You know, like people like the president and people in politics or things I see on the news or things that just are what they are, I don't take any time worrying about, or at least you should try not to worry about these things because at the end of the day it's not something that you have a like the president has no idea who i am joe biden has he's never seen me he's probably never heard me to him mm-hmm. i don't even exist right Damn. so why no really so why yeah, would yeah, i yeah. why would i give so much attention and time to joe biden or donald trump if they don't even know me you know i mean you, you should be focusing on things that have a direct impact in your life not things that are so external that yeah th- they might affect you in the, in the smallest ways possible you know i mean sure okay. th- they'll make it they'll make it out to be like on the news this is like this huge thing but i think someone made a video where it was like in every single election on the news from like the 1940s or 50s mm-hmm. uh news anchor saying this is the most important election of all time <laughs> 
every, every single year, every single year election. from like the 1940s or 50s up until today it's the election right so it's every always the most the important, important election. election but what i'm saying is that there are certain things that people are always going to hype up they're always going to create something to worry about when there really is nothing there really i mean it's like it's ghost hype almost like that you know i mean th- th- there are some worries that are valid worries right but there are some worries that you should you shouldn't stress too much on because they're not going to help you mm. right you can stress about a president or you can stress about a virus but at the end of the day the president is the president and the virus is the virus right nothing you do is going to change that so main point yeah. is circling around the idea of as we go through with this episode the first takeaway is to cut your losses pretty much and in, in essence, cut yeah. the excess of things that things that are out of your control because if it's free from your hands then it should be free from your thoughts as well as what i'm hearing pretty much yeah and then w- so, would you have anything to add on to sort of that like that train of thought as far as things I, that are kind of out of out of your control or is it no i think you summed it up pretty good i mean especially these days with social media you know it's social media it's is something that you a problem <laughs> so it's something that like probably 90 percent of all population has or 90 percent of our our circle in the yeah. u.s has yeah. and it's everywhere and it's it's hard to not get caught up in everything going on to kind of internalize all of that the more that you see these things and how it's infecting other people not infecting well infecting and influencing yeah 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 other people it's yeah definitely it's it's something that's something that we have had to learn to cope with and deal with is to not learn the balance and letting our letting our ourselves go or when to not let ourselves go when it comes to internalizing these things and to not dwell on it to let go of it in the sense of you know noticing that our thoughts ultimately will not change um will not change the future so it should or reality or yeah so just we shouldn't kind of... you know just cut yourself some slack in that area where you know worry about things that you can worry about Exactly. Or worry about the. Th- I'm sorry. Worry about the like, things that you know. That actually, you have an influence over that. You yeah, have that on. are worth being worried about. I don't know. So okay, you know, as we head because we have a few more minutes before intermission, but right, right, right. I think can I just say like how we're gonna break this up? So first, we're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, totally, totally. We're talking about there's kind of different subsections, and we both have our own takes on it. So we're first talking about cutting your losses, which is kind of like if we're talking about like a circle. The yeah. first layer is cutting your losses uh, for when it comes to letting go, just in general, moving forward. Then the, the next layer, you want me to say the next layer and then we'll keep going or do you want me to just... Uh, yeah, no, you, you can let them know about that. And then the, the next, next one is after we talk about cutting your losses, we're going to talk about shifting your focus from things that you that are out of your control into the things that are actually uh, in your bubble of control. So yeah, In your realm of influence, pretty yeah, much. So you kind of cut your losses and focus on what's important and then yeah. we have some other anecdotes that we'll talk about after that yeah a, a lot of staying shows. away from worry really is just reshifting your focus yeah you know yeah, because I, r- really at the end of the day your your worries are just what you're focused on mm-hmm. so if you're able to shift your focus from something that's uh, invalid to something that's valid i think that's just helpful across the board mm-hmm. you know yeah but yeah, we'll right after this intermission, we'll go into the things that you should focus on and some examples of that and how you can do that. So enjoy this intermission. we hope that you enjoy that intermission now that we've gotten back from the intermission Ew. let's dive into yeah we actually yeah. restarted this and christian got on me because i didn't say we, i hope that you enjoyed yeah, the intermission we always so. say that we, I, we want them to enjoy actually the intermission. i guess i must do that habitually because i didn't know that that was like a thing until you yeah. pointed it out yeah yeah That's we weird. want them to we want you guys to enjoy the intermission whatever yeah it but is. i just i didn't know that i said that so i mean hey bro you learn something new every day <laughs> tell me that but yeah you just he was about to go turbo on me for a second. I guess. You guys know my Wreck-It Ralph fans out there. 
Wreck it. Do we have like large Wreck It Ralph fan bases? Yeah, within Indonesia. the listeners <laughs> in Indonesia. Dallas. Indonesia and Dallas are just Wreck It Ralph hubs. Yeah, speaking of which, again, that's cool that you guys are listening from Indonesia and Dallas. I mean, hey, keep it up. Just but... comment if you're listening or reach out to us of who you are. What's like one country that you think would be like really cool? Like that if they listen, listen to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italy. Italy? Italy. Italy's, Italy's a country. Italy is a country. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. Ki- you're kind of Italian, you know? Yo, I thought it was. Just saying. No, never mind. No, I was going to say something really stupid. Say, yeah, Italy. this is a podcast. You, you guys, was, if yeah, you have say a thought, Italy's about a continent. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, you know what? Yeah, Italy. But I'm sorry. To no, get, I told you. To get back on topic, um, you want to make sure that you're focusing on things that are within your realm of influence. You want to make sure that you're focusing on things that are inside your control. So, uh, I guess we're just going to give some examples of this. Sort of like, well, one is a big one is just your attitude in general. Mm-hmm. You know, making sure that you have a good attitude. That's something that you choose. Another thing is probably just an example, I guess, working out, learning, actually working hard to learn things in school, whether it be a new language or whether it be a new subject. That's all things that you have in your control. Those are all things that you can actually have a direct impact on in your day to day. So, Mm. you know, things of that nature are probably good to worry about, but you want to make sure that just like any any worry you want to make sure it's not consuming you in any way Mm -hmm. you know but your worries become a lot more manageable when they're within your scope of influence because we can really only influence so much you know when you're trying to worry about yourself and the world around you that's when it can become i think it's kind of overwhelming for some people yeah when you take on both of those when you take on both of those things and one of those things really you don't have any control over anyways or at least not much so it's it's sort of like the illusion of control yeah so you want to make sure that you're actually you know directing your focuses towards things that are going to benefit you and things that also are just more immediately important i think because in the long run i think that's going to help you to focus on things that are really important um more so than you know watching the news and getting stressed about something that's happening two hundred thousand miles away you know it's just it's it's easier on your conscience and i think it helps you to be be more productive in more areas because you have more like mental energy mm-hmm. to just focus on things like yeah i care about this i'm gonna divert all my energy to this instead of you know whatever's on tv or whatever you know so it's like saying i'm cutting my losses yeah i know there's some things i can't worry about that i mean i can't things that i can't control and i'm not gonna let that take over my thought space my head space but not saying while there are things that i shouldn't worry about because i have no control over them not saying that i'm completely powerless to still making a good life for myself and that's where the bunch of other stuff falls when you talk about things you can control pretty much so i I think it's when we now that we've talked kind of talked about not cutting your losses a bit and um focusing on what you can control i think we want to emphasize these two points where we dig any further because yeah you know, we want to make sure that you know that there is definitely a distinction between things that are, you know, beyond your scope and things that are within your scope. Things yeah. that are within your scope, th- those are things that not only you should probably worry about more, but your worry is more valid, mm-hmm. right? Ooh. So your worry is kind valid. of invalid when you're focusing on things out of your control. They're valid yeah. when they're things that you're in your control because then the worry just makes more sense. It's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm worrying about this because this actually has a different mm-hmm. effect on me. It has an effect on people around me, you know. And if, if more people kind of thought like that, I think that our communities would overall be better because people wouldn't be worried about what's going on in another state. They'd be worried about their state, their community. And if everyone was just mm-hmm. working better to, you know, fix their little part of the world, then I think the world overall would be better instead of us trying to fix, you know, micromanage yeah, all these other problems instead yeah. of just our own. Because it kind of goes back to that saying, like, it's hard to help someone if you're not helping yourself. Like you know? the oxygen mask in the airplane? Yeah, something Secure like that. Secure your you own know? mask first. And then... That was actually like a solid sound effect. But Dang. I'm not sad like, about that because, you know, I spent the final minutes of my life securing my own mask first. Wow. And then my son's mask. My mask. His, my son's. Mine. His. And then yeah. just. 
That's yeah. one way to go. That's the only way to go. <laughs> yeah. So secure Dang. your own mask, basically. Metaphorically speaking, I Metaphorically guess. Metaphorically speaking, you know, cut your losses. Don't worry about the barf bag, which is a figurative <laughs> speech for things you can't control, kind of. And then focus on the things you can't control yourself. You can help a lot of people, maybe yourself, for securing your own mask. That was powerful. We kind of, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the, on loosely. that, on that, I think that one of the one of the best analogies that I've seen for this whole idea of things that are out of your control, in your control, is that you know we all grow old and die someday. That's just a reality what? for every single one of us. I know, right? Spoiler alert. Sorry if you didn't know that. My bad. My bad. Unless... But all of us grow old and die. There, there's nothing in the world that you can do to stop that or change that. It's going to happen to every single one of us, whether we like it or not. So on one hand, you can just worry about the fact that you're going to die every single day of your life until your death, or you can just make peace with the fact that you'll die and everyone else, and then continue to live your life. So... <laughs> wait, wait, that sounds... <laughs> Christian's struggling wait, with the concept. Wait. I just realized that struck me. We're talking about the... <laughs> wait, the, the art of letting go, and that just took a serious turn to death. Okay. Well, it's a good that analogy. Part, yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. That is a good analogy. So I'm going to put that under the category of worrying about. I saw what we were talking about worrying about things we can't exactly. control. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you know, worrying what we can control. Yeah. So it's important. Uh, it's a it's an important fact to make peace with things that are just sort of, um, I guess, sort of more or less set in stone. Because mm-hmm. if you make peace with those things, it's easier just to move on. You know, it's it's almost, uh, this isn't maybe a perfect analogy, but you could sort of equate it to math where it's like, okay, if you learn four plus, uh, sorry, two plus two equals four, and it, it's easier to move on and keep, you know, building your level of competence in math. Whereas if you were to constantly keep questioning, wait, is two plus two four? You, you'd never have a, a solid foundation. You'd always be questioning and worrying and you'd never be able to actually ascend and keep building your, your knowledge or your ability. So if you're able to sort of set that foundation of making peace with certain, you know, inevitable things and then actually, you know, working on your focus towards things that you can do and control, then you're just going to have more of a solid lifestyle, I think. Hmm. Just sort of in that regard. It's like what matters. Yeah, what, what matters. Because there are some things like death is an important part of life, but there's nothing you can really do about that, you know? Yeah, so I think in the end, tie it into having respect for yourself to... You know, not you have a gift of of living life, and I think you should. You know, it's 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 a process, definitely, of learning what to let go and how to do it. But um, the main idea, the main motivation, is that you know you're given this one wildly precious gift that uh, not a lot of people are very fortunate and enough to have. And while there's always some things that are going to be wrong and things that they're going to be on our mind that we're going to complain about that we wish were different and that aren't ideal that we kind of cling on to uh, which i'll get i'll get into in a little bit um you know you're, you're given this i think the, the key point if you take away anything from this episode is to just have respect for yourself respect yourself enough to where a point where you won't let anything in the past or the present you know take a serious toll on your mental health you know there's um I see I'm not good with words so I use quotes to uh, channel that but there's this one there's one saying that I heard where it was oh, don't mess this up Christian don't mess this up or you got this I believe actually there, I, don't, I don't even know what the don't, quote is don't be confined something like don't be confined by the mistakes of your past it was a lesson not a life sentence oh wow I can I can vibe with that that was good I can vibe with that too so um i, I would gladly drink tea to that we're making good time should we should i talk about this one now or you want to di- dive into this one a little bit well more? it depends do you want to sort of give a few more examples of that okay. or maybe how you can or yeah I mean, um control well you, you did a good job with talking about the well about kind of, huh that was very canadian i don't know I said, how, how did i say it like about about yeah yeah whoa about sorry how sorry did i say I don't, I don't know if that like picks up know. in the audio, but for like, some reason I just like I have spontaneous Canadian moments. I guess 
Well, I guess. I don't know. I, I think you had a good job talking about things that are in control and figuring out that balance between cutting your losses and reevaluating what's what's important to you. If you wanted to dive into that, I think you encapsulated that pretty Yeah, no, I think like we, we captured it. all of these pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, I mean, yeah, if you want to go into a sort all right, of way, yeah. yeah. So, Adrian did a good job with leading on to present day uh, dealing with letting go on a present day and how it's a daily activity with things we can't control and things we can't control. All right. In the present day. Now, I'm going to shift it over to talking about letting go of things from the present day, but letting it go from more specifically your past. And man, this one is, um, I think a lot of you guys can relate to me or can relate on this one. Cause you know, we were just talking about this. Maybe it's not yeah. only, I'm not just talking about, uh, experiences, like things that maybe have happened to you or things that maybe you've done in the past, mm. but maybe your idea about things, or maybe a friendship didn't work out a relationship, whether that be a relationship, be a friendship or more romantical, or Yikes. maybe also an experience didn't work out or something where in the past something happened that you still hold on to today because it left some huge emotional significance to you. And that's that's a lot of... That's work to get rid of that, man. Yeah, that's, lu- that's mental luggage. And it really does... That's kind of what I want to kind of carefully got, dive into because... We all, I think we talked about this on a few podcast episodes. I think that the, there are some podcast episodes where the themes sort of blend. Yeah. I think like, this is one of those. I was going to say, like, we all handle, like, handle. Because we did c- kind of an go. episode on dealing with stress. I think that was, like, episode two or three. Yeah. Three, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, Adrian's right. Like, they, they all kind of blend together a little bit. Um, did uh, did the person who I'm not gonna say the name, but the person who sent in this request for uh, letting go, do you know what the context was, like whether or not it was letting well, go of the past or yeah. traumatic experience, well, or was it just in general? I think more it's like a blend of those things, present and in past. So so like worrying about the future and then holding on to like bad things from the past, yeah, sort of thing. From okay, like the okay. central point around the past and how that affects. So all right, that helps. Um, so I'm just going to go right into it because there's a lot of fluff that I can build up on this. Right. But, you know, first things first, uh, I apologize for anything that happened in the past. I don't know what happened because everybody that's watching this is, has a different point or different contents of uh, luggage from their past. But I'm, I apologize for on our behalf that you, how do I put this, that it still affects you on a daily if it does that if it does affect you on a daily basis that maybe hmm. you know you feel i don't know i had a point going like or I, I think one way maybe to yeah you finish source, it off yeah, i started sure. you you, you talk sure 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 um uh, i think one of the main things to think about when you're trying to let go of something specifically that happened in the past um i don't know if this can really be applied so much to future but definitely past is to realize that this is a true statement what doesn't kill you will make you stronger that is just a fact that is across the board just what yeah. happens and especially if it's a bad experience you're going to grow the most during that experience 100 percent of the time yeah. so if there's something that you're struggling letting go of the most likely reason that you're not able to let go of it is because one you have sort of you feel like you've lost something of a sense or that maybe you feel incompetent about something and you're afraid you might repeat the same mistake oh. or you're afraid that you know this mistake instead of you repeating it it might just happen to you again or something like that that's generally speaking where f- fear worry anxiety those things come from those mm-hmm. things are stemmed in from insecurity they're they're rooted in things like you're not being confident or competent in your own mentality or your your own personal strength so I think the biggest thing you need to first get get the herd over is obviously what we just talked about, but obviously thinking, you know, this experience, whether you liked it or not, did help you grow as a person, right? So you shouldn't look at it as this, because I know it's easy mm-hmm. right after something bad happens to look at it as like a curse or think, oh, this, why the heck did this happen to me? This is the worst thing. But when you, maybe a few months later, few years later like in my case something bad happened it's been about a year and a half now 
I can look back at that very easily and see it as something positive, even though it was truly negative at the time. Mm. And it was still, it had negative effects because, you know, I lost people and so forth, but it still made me learn more and it helped me to function better as time went on. Mm. So that alone, that fact alone that I became a stronger and better person from this bad experience, that made it more tolerable and easier for me to let it go. Because you're not letting go of the experience. You're letting go of this persona that it was somehow bad. Right? You want to let go so of So, the... not... Because your memory is always going to be with you. It doesn't matter. You can try and let go of things, like, just forget about it. You're not really going to forget. The only way you can really, you know, come to come at terms with these things is to make peace with the fact that it happened, number one. And also to remember that these things that are difficult often make you a better person in the long run. So don't think of these things as things that are holding you back. They're actually pushing you forward. But they're only going to push you forward if your mentality allows that. So make sure that your mentality is not a mentality of if something bad happens to me, that's it. That's the end. I shut down. You want to make sure that your mentality is, okay, something bad happens to me. Mm -hmm. What can I learn from this? How is this going to make me a better person? So on and so forth. And when you look at it, just looking at it in that light is going to make it easier to let go of the negative sort of persona of that past memory or event or person what have mm -hmm. you so that would sort so of like, be my take on it using the stones that life throws at you that you're using it to build a bridge or a wall pretty no, much bridge. you just think it's a bridge. life throws you a stone you catch it you just you know just stick it in the ground and start building and that's pretty much all. okay all yeah i think you it. had yeah thank you for adrian compliment day i appreciate how you can See, I was starting, I think I was going up when I was apologizing, I was apologizing. I was apologizing for the people that feel like they're alone with handling this luggage. Oh. Handling, yeah. I didn't finish, my brain just went blank. So you should never, anybody out there in general, you should never have to feel like you're alone with doing this. Hopefully we're here to help you with that. And yeah, I mean, that, that's our hope is that this podcast, if, if nothing else, it gives you a smile or that it, it helps you in some form or fashion. Even if you don't agree with everything we say, we hope that you can always walk right. away from an episode learning, you know, something that will help you throughout your day. Yeah. That is the hope. All right. And um, on and that note, yeah. we were, <laughs> yeah, on that note, um, it's kind of, do, do we have a minute to kind of process everything? But, you know, when we talk about mental weight and, and luggage, I'm going to get real now. Um, yeah. How we usually offer some advice or shortcuts or life hacks, uh, advice to things that help speed up the process, you know, things, yeah, things happen to everyone, like stupid things we do to others or things that happen to us. It happens. Yeah. You know, it, it's human and you know, it's only natural to carry that, that weight. But I think the thing that I would just best advise is just, you have to just keep moving forward. You know, you got, there's no shortcuts that we could yeah. offer or lessons. That's the, the only way we could go through is just moving forward because that's that? something that happens to everyone. What's that movie? Something Forrest Robinsons? Um, the, this kid like goes to the future and sees his family. Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons. The Disney movie. What's, what's, the, what's the guy's motto? Keep moving forward? Yeah. yeah. yeah the guy looks like a Jonas brother. Yeah, yeah that just Jonas made me think of that. Jonas yeah. Brother. Yeah, well, yeah. I think things happen and I can't... I don't think I'm going to be beating... What was that from saying? Beating out of a dead horse. But honestly... Beating out of it, no, beating, just beating a beating dead horse. Beating a dead horse. Yeah, uh, it's, I can't. And this, that's it. There's nothing else to it. Just life things, doesn't really have any cheat codes, really. Yeah, you know? you know, things happen, and the only way to really process that is kind of moving forward. I don't know how else to say that. That's there's no other lessons that I can personally offer you just to keep moving forward with that and not not staying stagnant. When I say that, I mean just keep moving forward where you're not you're choosing not to let that whatever happened that you did or you did to others you know dictate or like yeah. defeat you and just keep getting up and having a new mindset every day saying that whatever happens happens and i'm just going to make the best out of whatever and make try to you know aim it as much as possible towards living the life of intent that i want to live that the best version of myself i see living in the future lives and how i can make that a reality now so that's really just just keep moving forward yeah right and uh, another thing is you know when you're moving forward i know that it can be difficult because you're you're sort of 
you know, it's easy to say, right? But I mean, when you're yeah. in the moment, it's you know, and, and you're thinking about these worries and these these past events, it can be very difficult. But I think something that's important to remember is that, um, you know, bravery, for example, is not a lack of fear. Bravery is doing something even when there's fear involved, mm-hmm. even when you're afraid. All right. So it, the same thing sort of applies for going through things in life. I'm not saying that, you know, moving forward is going to be the most comfortable thing in the world to do. Mm. Right. But you, you, you kind of, you go through it and you do it anyways. Right. Because you know that it's right. The right thing to do. You know, that's beneficial. You, we don't always do the right thing because it's convenient, you mm-hmm. know, but you still got to do it because it's the right thing. It's the thing that's going to push right you thing. forward and, and help you in the long run. Mm, so, keep, you know, so just keep I think that's probably forward. And on, on that note, we got that oh, on the, side. Yeah, the first yeah. one that's not, just keep moving forward. Just, I would say I have it right here. Just also, that's not always a bad thing, you know. And I'm, I mean that there's always life is so unpredictable, and you never know when something better than what you thought is about to come around the corner. And I, I reference this back to relationships, whether that be romantical or friendships or experiences you had, whether that be a bad experience trying something or something happening to you. Uh, I'm just going to use a the most thing. I, the first thing I can think about is like, say, a friendship in this case, where you're going to have many relationships, and that's not always only one or the other when it comes to romantic friendships, relationships yeah. in general. You're going to come by in life. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them are not going to are not going to be good. And some of them are just they're going to be there to teach you. Some of them are just going to be there to you know guide you through whatever phase of life you're in. Yeah, but, but- yeah, yeah you're right you're right there, there are some just bad experiences in life that you just kind of got to go through yeah you know they're, like there are just some things in life that are going to happen to you that are bad for the sake that they're just you know bad and that's sort of the thing about life i think i posted this maybe a few days ago and it was that you know life is full of color and vibrance mm-hmm. but it's also full of darkness and you're not able to see anything unless you have the contrast of the two mm-hmm. right so in order to actually see life in you know it's all encompassing form you really do have to have that sense of despair and darkness and also vibrance and happiness you need both you, you need one to feel the other pretty much so oh, yeah so like appreciation for one yeah you, you're never really gonna feel super super happy you're, or maybe as happy as you could be unless you've actually felt what it's like to be really really sad it's sort of that thing mm-hmm. when uh maybe you haven't eaten and like a day or something like that and then you have just one meal that maybe normally would just be average but like tastes like the most amazing mm-hmm. thing ever just because yeah. you've been you know lacking yourself of food you have that con- yeah yeah I so it, it's sort of like that when you're trying to let things go or move on is is this sort of sense that life is a duality right life is this yeah. sort of dark and light sort of balance that we have to walk and when you're able to look at it not only in that light but you're also able to appreciate it for that fact then I think not only your appreciation, but also just your understanding will help you to yeah, sort of continue moving forward and be Definitely appreciative good. of the, you know, just say, you know, the things that happened in the past, they happened. I'm not proud of them. I'm not necessarily happy that they happened, but those things that happen don't, you know, that's there. Now we're here. Yeah. What do we do with what's right yeah. in front of us now? You know, and keep like a, keep like a realistic mindset that while things may have been bad, just in general life because unpredictable there's right. always something just have a high hopes and have that kind of you know kind of that small pep in your step knowing that hey today wasn't that good or this experience wasn't that good or this relationship that wasn't wasn't uh crazy awesome but there's always something you know you have your whole life ahead of you and there's always something that is just right around the corner that you never know when it's going to happen most at the times when it's unexpected that you you just don't even think about what happened in the past before like oh like you know this person that came by made me realize that i thought i had it good when i was hanging out with this person and i was with this person doing these things but now just giving it some time i finally have looking back kind of see how yeah, if like i just would have just kept yeah just moving forward you know it would have been i would have been so much easier on myself moving forward having that hopes that there was something there's bound to be something better in this life that's way bigger and beyond yourself that you know it truly ignites that that spark of yours so just keep moving forward and just know that you know 
there's always something better around the corner. You just got to have faith in, you know, that there's always, that there's something bigger around the corner. New title of this episode, keep moving forward. Keep forward. I know. I think I said, you know, like three times now, including that one, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we do have a, 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 a pretty important sort of next step in this phase, which, uh, to some of you, this might not apply to, but uh, we're Christians, so we're going to say it anyways. Uh, yeah, we, talked, we haven't talked about this one, actually, for a little bit. Yeah, we, it's, it's been a while, but prayer is, dude, like, prayer is, is what you do. Like, for me, all of these things are good, but prayer is the number one thing that I go to mm-hmm. whenever I'm trying to let something go or trying to, you know, reprioritize my life. Everything that we just said is, is totally valid, it's totally good, but... Prayer is just yeah. one of those things that you, you can't really do. Any, you can't do much better, you know, because yeah. prayer, you're connecting with the one person who do have, who does have control over the biggest things, mm-hmm. right? Because you have your scope. God has the scope, right? So when you're, when you're, when you're praying to God and stuff like that, I mean, you, you really are talking to the, the highest up there is, you know, I mean, if you have the ability to talk with a person who created the world and sustains the world, you know, I mean, forget about talking to your, you know, your celebrity or, you know, president. I mean, that's, yeah. there's, there's nothing I really think, farther up you can yeah, go. Than that, yeah. You know? I was just thinking that there's, we're, you're saying this because we both come from the same faith and to us setting time aside to be still and kind of spend time in that field is important to us. Cause that's kind of when we could try to escape, uh, you know, kind of give over the mental luggage that we have. And there's also, there's a, many different ways there's like meditation and different ways where people put time aside to stay still in their day which which works for them to kind of give up that mental weight but for us we're saying this because again we're same faith and it's just you know, where we come from it's a very important know, part of, of yeah sort of our giving that stuff. up that's like kind of like a surrendering that knowing it's kind of relieving too that you don't have to do it alone when you have people from similar faiths when you have faiths and when you have faiths. a when you have, when you look up to someone, like literally and yeah. metaphorically, <laughs> that <laughs> like, you can just give all your worries to. So, and we actually have a few picked yeah, verses yeah. to sort of drive this point home because I think the Bible can usually say things better than we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the first one of these is Philippians. What is it? Philippians four, four eight, eight through nine. So, I'm just gonna turn there. Do so. you actually have them bookmarked already? I didn't. I, I just flipped to it, but, you know. No, I'm just going to flip and look like I'm on the same page. Yeah, you just... <laughs> Here we go. Have you ever done that, like, in, in church where, like, flip to this place, and then, like, they start reading before you get there? So you yeah, just and then like, right when they finish, you know, like, you get like, there, yikes. and you're like, all right. So. Yeah. What is it? Philippians 4, 8 through 9. <laughs> you are in Amos <laughs> chapter 2, but you know same what? Thing. So uh, this verse pretty much goes on what you should be spending your time thinking on. And thinking on these things, uh, that's what's going to sort of give you peace and help you to not just let go of things, but also look at things in perhaps a better light, you know? Because mm-hmm. we, we do have a lot of control over what we view. So that's why I'm always a huge advocate of not turning on the news. I, I do not like watching the news. I, I think you and I were talking in sort of outside uh, the other day, and you were like, "Dude, the news isn't even like the news anymore." Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, yeah. the, the, there yeah. are certain things that are important to focus on, and they're again, like we said in the beginning, there are certain things that are important not to focus on. So this verse kind of drives that home. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. So it's not saying the God of peace might be with you. It's saying the God of peace shall Shall be with you. So So, it's kind of what we talked about, kind of shifting your your mindset of what to to put your mind on. Yeah, I mean, you know, what are these words that's saying? So it's basically saying to focus on things that are true, honest, just pure lovely things that are of good report virtues and if there be any praise so pretty much it's saying to focus on the the positive aspects of life and look towards those things instead of looking towards sort of the madness that you might see today like christian sort of and i were talking about earlier news or social media we say those things because they're just big nowadays 
but really just any form of mm -hmm. sort of unnecessary negative input you know if you don't have to look at something negative it's there, there really is no real good reason to i don't think yeah i think it's it's usually more beneficial to focus on things that are actually gonna you know rub off good on you you know mm -hmm. instead of something that might come off as, as as bad but the next ones are in the book of matthew so sweet yeah, yeah. i'm gonna get here before you can you're it's gonna get race. that before it's a race man 25 bam i'm already here man. Oof, i'm in micah dude how the heck did 20, i get to micah there, is it therefore i say therefore i say well it depends which one uh 625 yeah bro thanks matt yeah 625 625 do you want yeah. do you want to read this one uh, yes. 625 to uh, therefore, 27 therefore i say unto you take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink nor yet for your body what ye shall put on mm. is not the life more than meat and the body than like, raiment raiment which are clothes clothes behold the well, I like this one the, yeah. behold the fowls of the air for they not for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feedeth them are ye not much better than they? 27. 27. Yeah, just the Which next one. of you by talking... Taking. It says talking. Oh, wait, there's no L. No, Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his nature? Which... Stature. I can't. I'm out of speed. Just like second or something. <laughs> Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? So pretty much th this whole... Wow. This whole section is essentially saying that we, at least as Christians, and this is just sort of our philosophy, this is our ideology, so we're just sort of, you know, letting it out there. But he's essentially saying, and this is Jesus talking right here, and he's saying that you shouldn't take any thought for what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, you know, how you're going to dress, or anything like that. And the reason being is because he's saying, look, the birds don't worry about these things, and, and God feeds the birds. You know, do you think God cares more about birds or about you? right you know he the, he, birds. He, the birds he cares more about you so if he feeds the birds and they don't worry you know he he knows that you need you know what you need he knows that you need clothes he knows that you need food he knows that you need shelter he knows these things so just don't worry about them because they're not like right here which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature right so you know the thinking about something isn't going to make something physical in reality unless there's action applied a thought alone won't change anything it, it really is just something made up right if, if i think about something right it's now like i'm tangible. thinking about something i'm thinking about something right now christian doesn't know what it is right unless unless i tell christian what i'm thinking about him and no one else will ever know so you, in order to actually have an effect your thoughts actually have to be put into action Right. But when you're worrying and so forth, those thoughts aren't really being put into any positive action. If any action, they're being negative because maybe it's a lack of action that you're taking because you're worried mm -hmm. about a certain outcome, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you are essentially giving your worries to God. And we have one in uh, 34, yeah, I think is the next that, one. And then I'll go to Luke. Yeah, and sure. You want, if you want to just head to Luke right there. And this is Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And when he says sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, he's saying essentially everything that you're worrying about up until those days is evil. It's not helping you in any way. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. The morrow's the morrow, tomorrow. So he's saying don't think about tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow is already thinking about itself, you know? You have no idea what's going to go on tomorrow. You can have the most just picture-perfect laid-out plans in the world for what tomorrow is going to be, and then something could happen out of your control to just change all of that. So uh, that is something important to take into consideration. But I think, Christian, what are you going to read? Yeah, I'm going to read Luke 12, 22. And he said unto his disciples, that's what he's saying, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what the what ye shall put on. That's it. Yeah. 
I thought that was gonna be longer. That <laughs> oh, we were not... preparing for something. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, that's yeah. Pretty much, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's sort of paraphrasing what was already said. Was just don't worry about what you're gonna put on. Don't worry about your clothes. God's pretty much got you in that regard. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, prayer, I guess if th- those are just some Bible verses on kind of giving your thoughts over to God. Um, this is actually the verse of the day. So contrary to what we usually do, I think I'm just going to do the verse of the day now just to get okay. it over with. Yeah. So I think we have time for the verse of the day. So I'm just going to take care of that. And this is in Sweet Psalms. Flip. Yeah, this is in Psalms. Peace Psalm 5522. Boom. Bang, yeah, I already know. Yep. And go. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So pretty much, yeah, (laughs) yeah, your your burden, right? Whatever you're carrying with you, whatever you can't let go of, it says just give it to God, and move on. Essentially, that that's as clear as day. That's the Bible's advice. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, and to be moved essentially is to be sort of shaken off of your normal path you know just stay on the path continue moving forward and just cast your burden upon the lord and keep going that's yeah. that's pretty much what the bible has to say about that all right closing up a few thoughts that we talked today we discussed mental all weight. kinds of things yeah today we just talked about getting rid of mental weight the main things were to cut your losses don't worry, don't worry about things that aren't in your, in your control and shift that over to Putting your concern on things. I was listening to a voice that's other day. Putting your concern on the things that are in your yeah. bubble of things you can do. And then we went further to say that the really best way to cope with things from your past is just to keep moving forward and to cut yourself some slack. You know, maybe you were younger or you didn't know some things then or, you know, just in general, just cut yourself some slack because you're human and mistakes are, you know, are bound to happen. Right. What's that thing where it's going to happen? It's like um, it's like a word where it's like this is gonna happen. Like you can't change it. Like like things that are just gonna happen in yeah. life are kind of already set in stone. In general, like things they're bound to happen. Like you can't. There's a word for it. I'm probably gonna think of it later. But keep moving forward and don't cut yourself some slack. We're all human. It was a lesson, not a life sentence, and grow from it. Don't be constrained by what happened. And always keep a bright attitude that there's always something right around the corner that can completely change your life. Like what Adrian said, what we kind of read from the scripture is that there's always mm-hmm. something around the corner and you never know what what's going to happen tomorrow it could be your best day of your life or not but there will be better days coming ahead of you yeah so I mean, it's kind of there's a quote where it's like how cool is that that we uh, our best days are still ahead of us that the best day of our life still hasn't happened yet or something like that and then we so so like if you keep running with that mentality does that mean like the best day of your life is the day you die like if you keep pushing it forward well, and forward it's hoping that you don't know when you're gonna die got it so yeah we, we talked it. about those things a few bio verses that kind of complement each topic uh, dealing scripturally and from our faith perspective about what we should worry about what we shouldn't worry about right and kind of how different people kind of go along with that message and that's it our bio verse of the day we did that already yeah that was so, uh, psalm 55 verse 22 22 so, so we hope whoa <laughs> sorry that was you kind of like a, yeah but i mean just remember guys that life you know kind of like we already said is a duality you know you really have to make sure that your your mindset pretty much i think we always advocate for a healthy mindset in our videos yeah. but especially when it comes to letting go you want to make sure that your mindset and your attitude are just sort of in the right place because it i mean just to be to be frank it is difficult to let go of certain situations if you're just your mind really isn't uh trying to you know yeah. i mean you, you really do there's only kind of so much we can help you with we we can give you the advice but unless you actually implement the advice yourself yeah. into your life you know there really is you know, only so much so just remember that you know your life pretty much is in your hands and there are many things that are still within your control and just make sure that you're focusing on you mm-hmm. know those most important things and and making sure that you're not getting, you know, losing your mind and yeah. everything that's going around. So hopefully here, that's what I was you know, saying. we don't always have the most mind 
provoking statements, but hopefully we can yeah. just nudge you back into the right by asking the right questions, nudge you back into the right headspace. We're answers, not philosophers or theologians. Yeah. We're just dudes. Answers that you knew all along. We're just hopefully here to help you guide you back to our perspective. So if you guys have any more questions or comments or ideas yeah. or uh, topics that you guys want us to talk about, thank you for the ones that did contribute to this idea um, and I all the like other ones. We've as well. been getting some more uh, feedback and yeah. stuff like that, which we, we really appreciate when yeah, you we, guys reach out to we us. We do. We're kind of. You know, we're still in the beginning phases of figuring out kind of our, our lingo a little bit. We're, as we can see, we're right, trying right. some new stuff out. We're always trying to switch things up. Yeah. So. And so we always appreciate you know, new feedback and information that you guys give us because that really helps us to figure out what you guys want to hear more of and what's important to you guys because this, yeah. this is all for you guys. So And also just uh, not even just, I mean, we, we would love for you know to get feedback on future episode topics or ideas. Those are always welcome. Um, but I mean, just even, uh, aesthetic things, you know, what maybe you would want to see as far as when we bring guests on, because we are bringing guests by season two, Ooh, which is yeah, so actually going to happen pretty on. quickly. So if you, it, not only if you want to be, if you want to be a guest, but also just questions that you'd like us to ask guests, Yeah, or um, you know, tips like, Hey, maybe you guys can try this or try approaching this yeah. this way, you know, anything, literally anything. So <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's awesome. Thank you guys for your, uh, your feedback to those who actually give it. And if you haven't given feedback, come on now. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> no, she doesn't give feedback either. Yeah, my Love you, either. Mom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Episode 16 already of the Art of Awesomeness podcast. We will be back next Sunday, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Sunday. 9 a.m. Sunday with a new topic that we definitely know. We 100%. We know. Yeah. What is it? <laughs>